Hey guys, here's that muzzle brake I'm going to put out on that blackout pistol. I'll just show you in here. <clears throat> you can see inside there, a little, it's a little bit rough from the machining process, but uh, it's some burrs and stuff in there. But I'm going to take a Dremel tool and I'm going to polish that up real good. And the, the only reason I'm doing that is so when I clean the brake, that it's easy to get the fouling out of there. If it if I left it like that with the the rough machining marks, it would allow the copper and everything to just adhere onto those marks easier. Alright guys, here's that brake I was showing you. I'll show you just what I'm going to do. i got a small sanding drum on my Dremel tool. I'm just going to lightly sand the interior to get those machining marks off. And then I'll take a polishing head for the Dremel tool. And Give it a nice smooth finish. Hey guys, I've cleaned up that front hole pretty good. Now I'm going to start polishing on it, but show you here as you can see on the other two holes just the rough machining marks on there and now put a little dab of flitz in there and I've got this polishing head I'm polish it up hey guys I'll show you a little trick here my polisher is too large to get in in the brake so what I'm gonna do just trim it down a little bit. Let's see if that'll fit. <clears throat> oh yeah, much better. All right, guys, I got the brake all cleaned up. You can seeing there how much shinier it is but only reason I did that was to be able to clean the brake a little bit easier get all the fouling off of it but this is a Moss Defense muzzle brake it's threaded 5 8 24 and for the money man you can't beat it this is a, probably a third of the cost of most of the other brakes that you could get Looks like a real nice piece. Can't wait to try it out.